soil testing could be overwhelming. Trust me, I get it. There's a whole bunch of companies to choose from. And then once you find the company, what test do you choose? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my easy step-by-step -step guide on how to test your soil. And the best part is it only costs 10 bucks. So why exactly do we want to test our soil? Well, long story short, going into the growing season, we want to have a good idea of what's inside it. A few things that we're going to look out for are the pH levels and the nutrient levels. And if there's any issues with either one of those, we're going to correct it. You can have all the best fertilizers in the world, but without a proper soil test, you could be doing more damage than good. Because if there's anything I've learned in lawn care, knowing what's in your soil and suspecting what's in your soil is not the same thing. In order to do our soil test, we're going to need a few tools. The first thing is a soil probe, but hold up, if you don't have a soil probe, that's totally okay. You can use a garden trowel, or in my case, what I used for years was a Hori Hori Japanese gardening knife. I really like these knives because they're really made tough and they could cut through soil really easily. That's what I used for years before I got my soil probe, and if that's all you have, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's all about utilizing your resources. Another thing that we're gonna need is a bucket and a quart size Ziploc bag. All right, so when we take our probe, we're gonna wanna go about five inches down So that seems like it's about five inches. So over here we have our sample plug. I'm gonna remove the thatchy layer and then the rest of the plug is gonna go in the bucket so we can send it in for testing. Okay, so what if you don't have a soil probe? This right here is called a Hori Hori knife. It's a Japanese gardening tool and it makes easy work of cutting through sod and dirt. And the good thing about this is it measures right at five inches, which is exactly how deep we need to go into the soil. So whenever you want to take your test, you just push into the ground five inches and you do that on all four corners. And what's good about these knives is that they're curved so you can form a nice circle plug very easily with it. And they're made of very strong steel and they won't bend. All right, so now that we collected our samples, we're gonna go ahead and look through here and just try to pick out any uh, major chunks of organic matter that we have in here. Looks like we don't have much in here. If you have any twigs or pieces of mulch, just take them out before you send it in. For each testing area, we're gonna need to send in a quart Ziploc bag, which equals about one to two cups of soil. All right, so I'm just gonna break this up and mix it up so we have a consistent result. Don't be afraid to get dirty. You know, you wanna get to know your land. Look at that beautiful, that beautiful clay soil. I feel lucky that we're here in Chicago. Awesome soil. All right, I think that should be good. So now I'm gonna measure out two cups. Uh, the test requires one to two cups of soil. Let's see, and then uh, boom, we got about one and a half cups of soil right there. All right, so with our cord Ziploc bag, over here on the front, we're gonna wanna label what area of our lawn it is. And the reason we do this is if you have multiple areas of your lawn and you wanna send in different tests, you can do that. In my case, I'm only sending in my front yard, but the instructions clearly say to label what bag is for what area of your yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and write front lawn here. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the company that I like to use and how to fill out the paperwork. It might seem a little intimidating, but don't worry. I promise you it's not. Uh, we'll go over this step-by-step -step process. Super easy, and uh, I think you'll be happy with the results. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go to our website at waypointanalytical.com. We're going to click on soil testing. Click the state that's closest to you. So in my case, it's Illinois. And then we're going to go to lawn and garden sample information sheet. So if you take a look at this form over here, it's really basic. You just fill out all the information. You could pay with a check or with a credit card. 
keep in mind it's only ten dollars per sample so this is like a super cheap way to test your soil so over here it says sample id on this page if you remember i labeled my bag front lawn so that's what you would do here and if you have multiple samples you would go ahead and put the other samples here so if you did your backyard you would put backyard down here and then this is an s1h test uh, if you take a look over here, the test packages and pricing, the S1H test is $10, and that's for the lawn and garden soil test. That's what we want to go ahead and do. And then other, I just leave it blank. And then over here to fertility codes, so they know that we're testing this soil for our lawn specifically, we're going to go ahead and put the code 850 right here. And then if you forget any of the things that we went over today, you can go over here and there's a quick synopsis of how to take your samples. Real quick tip to any of my millennials out there. I know you guys probably don't send mail very often. If you want to print a prepaid shipping label, you could do that at USPS.com. Just put your address and then Waypoint's address and then pay, I think it's about six, seven bucks. You can go ahead and print that uh, shipping label off prepaid. You don't have to worry about postage or stamps or anything like that. And that's about it. It's that easy. If you guys are interested in seeing my results, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at Princess Cut Lawn. I'll be posting my results there. Also in my upcoming videos, you'll see how I tailor my fertilizer plan to exactly fit the needs of my soil test. If you guys found any value in this video, if you can hit the like button, that would be much appreciated. Also, if you're using Waypoint Analytical, go ahead and save this video to a playlist so you can refer back to it when it's time for you to do your own test. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, my name's George and I'm obsessed with my lawn. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon.